The big unveiling of Webb's first images was an astronomical event that showed off the observatory's incredible capabilities of looking into the far reaches of our cosmos. The second image unveiled was of an exoplanet that we had previously tried to investigate, but with only a handful of results and data, this time around, the scope of exploration is far greater and the telescope has worked its magic. Before we dive into what the observatory revealed, here's a quick recap of what we know about WASP-96b. So, WASP-96b is one of more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the Milky Way. Located roughly 1150 light-years away in the southern sky constellation Phoenix, it represents a type of gas giant that has no direct analog in our solar system. With a mass less than half that of Jupiter and a diameter 1.2 times greater, WASP-96b is much puffier than any planet orbiting our Sun. And with a temperature greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it is way hotter than a pizza oven. WASP-96b orbits extremely close to its sun-like star, just one-ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun, completing one circuit every three and a half Earth days. While we're at it, let's quickly look at what spectroscopy is. So, to detect molecules like water, methane, and carbon dioxide on distant planets, astronomers point the telescope at known exoplanets in our Milky Way galaxy. Then, they'll wait for the planets to travel in front of their bright stars. This starlight passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, then through space, and ultimately into instruments called spectrographs aboard Webb. This process is called transit spectroscopy, so basically they're high-tech prisms which separate the light into a rainbow of colors. What's cool here is that certain molecules like water in the atmosphere absorb specific types of color or light. Nestor Espinosa, an exoplanet research at the Space Telescope Science Institute, which runs Webb, puts it in good terms, saying each molecule has a specific diet. And that sort of is exactly what's going on here. All right, on to what they unveiled at the event. Some of the most incredible discoveries made and that are going to be made by the powerful Webb telescope won't be just pretty pictures, although the ones that will be are going to be beautiful to look at. The instrument instead can detect what the atmospheres of extremely distant exoplanets or planets beyond our solar system are composed of. In NASA's event, it was revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope has detected the distinct signature of water on the hazy exoplanet WASP-96b 1150 light-years away. Although it isn't the first detection of water molecules in another world, the Webb telescope that's built with a 21-foot mirror more than two and a half times larger than Hubble's allows incredible views into those distant planets like WASP-96b. The space agency said, while the Hubble Space Telescope has analyzed numerous exoplanet atmospheres over the past two decades, capturing the first clear detection of water in 2013, Webb's immediate and more detailed observations mark a giant leap forward in the quest to characterize potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. The telescope has confirmed the capture of a distant signature of water along with evidence for clouds and haze in the atmosphere surrounding a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a distant sun-like star. The observation, which reveals the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light, is the most detailed to date, once again demonstrating Webb's unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds and thousands of light years away. While the Hubble telescope has analyzed a fair share of exoplanet atmospheres over the past two decades, even capturing the first clear detection of water in 2013, Webb's immediate and more detailed observation marks an astronomical leap forward in the search for potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. 
The combination of large size, short orbital period, puffy atmosphere, and lack of contaminating light from objects nearby in the sky make WASP-96b an ideal target for atmospheric observations. On June 21, 2022, Webb's Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, or NURIS, measured light from the WASP-96 system for 6.4 hours as the planet moved across the star. It resulted in a light curve showing the overall dimming of starlight during the transit and a transmission spectrum revealing the brightness change of individual wavelengths of infrared light between 0.6 and 2.8 microns. While the light curve confirms properties of the planet that had already been determined from other observations by earlier telescopes like the existence, size, and orbit of the planet, Webb's transmission spectrum reveals previously hidden details of the atmosphere, like the unambiguous signature of water, indications of haze, and evidence of clouds that were thought not to exist previously. A transmission spectrum is made by comparing starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it moves across the star to the unfiltered starlight detected when the planet is beside the star. Researchers can detect and measure the abundances of key gases in a planet's atmosphere based on the absorption pattern, the locations and heights of peaks on the graph. In the same way that people have distinctive fingerprints and DNA sequences, atoms and molecules have characteristic patterns of wavelengths that they absorb. The spectrum of WASP-96b captured by NIRIS is not only the most detailed near-infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet atmosphere captured to date, but it also covers a remarkably wide range of wavelengths including visible red light and a portion of the spectrum that had not previously been accessible from other telescopes, wavelengths longer than 1.6 microns. This part of the spectrum is particularly sensitive to water as well as other key molecules like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are not immediately obvious in the WASP-96b spectrum, but should be detectable in other exoplanets planned for observation by Webb. With this data, researchers will be able to use the spectrum to measure the amounts of water vapor in the atmosphere, constrain the abundance of various elements like carbon and oxygen, and estimate the temperature of the atmosphere with depth. They can then use this information to make inferences about the overall makeup of the planet as well as how, when, and where it was formed. The blue light on the graph is a best-fit model that takes into account the data, the known properties of WASP-96b and its star, like size, mass, and temperature, and assumed characteristics of the atmosphere. In short, a lot of questions are going to be answered with this new data, and it's literally just the beginning of it. The incredibly accurate detail and clarity of these measurements are possible because of Webb's state-of-the-art design. Its 270-foot gold-coated mirror collects infrared light efficiently. Its precision spectrographs spread light out in rainbows of thousands of infrared colors. And its sensitive infrared detectors measure extremely subtle differences in brightness. NIRIS is able to detect color differences of only about one thousandths of a micron and differences in the brightness between those colors of a few hundred parts per million. Now, when putting that into perspective, the difference between green and yellow is about 50 thousandths of a micron, which makes it incredibly accurate. Apart from that, Webb's extreme stability and its orbital location around Lagrange Point 2, which is roughly a million miles away from the contaminating effects of Earth's atmosphere, make for an uninterrupted view and gives Webb the necessary clean data that can be analyzed relatively quickly. The extraordinarily detailed spectrum that was made by simultaneously analyzing 280 individual spectra captured over the observation provides just a hint of what Webb has in store for exoplanet research. Over the coming year, researchers will use spectroscopy to analyze the surface and atmosphere of several dozen exoplanets, from small rocky planets to gas and ice-rich giants. 
Nearly one quarter of Webb's first cycle of observations, or cycle one observation time, is allocated to studying exoplanets and the materials that form them. This nearest observation demonstrates that Webb has the power to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets, including those of potentially habitable planets, in the most exquisite detail. Webb's scientists plan to also point the powerful telescope at smaller, rocky, perhaps Earth-like worlds. There could be well over a trillion exoplanets in our galaxy alone, but we know vanishingly little about them. And as terrifying as it sounds, Espinoza's thoughts are a glimmer of hope. He says, We've only been able to barely scratch the surface, and there's nothing more true than that. So, what do you think about data received from Webb about WASP-96b? And what other exoplanets do you want to see Webb research? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.